Today, I'm gonna to run through the best ChatGPT SEO alternatives to ChatGPT4 because there's a big waiting list right now. And also it's just really interesting to see what other AI models are out there. And additionally, if you wanna create your own free AI SEO tools, like you can see right here, but you don't have access to ChatGPT Plus or you don't wanna pay for it, et cetera, then I'm gonna run through some free alternatives today, along with some ways to generate free images, scrape the web, access loads of different AI models completely for free. So we'll run through that today. And this is really useful, not just if you are trying to look for a free alternative to ChatGPT+, but also if you want to just look at what else is out there, look at how else you can use AI, especially for SEO, then make sure you keep watching because all of these tools are going to help you. Let's go. So one of the things I saw recently, shout out to Paul, is that there is quite a long wait list for ChatGPT+. So I think with everything that's going on there, you know, it's been a crazy week. Sam Altman has obviously left as well. Due to higher demand, they've temporarily paused upgrades to ChatGPT4+. Plus. And I've seen this has been quite frustrating for some people. A lot of people are waiting for access to ChatGPT. I've seen it on some of my YouTube comments as well. So today, basically what I'm gonna show you is some of the best free alternatives to ChatGPT, plus some alternatives to the custom GPTs if you're waiting for access to that. And honestly, some of the alternatives I'm gonna show you today are just as good as ChatGPT+, plus, but they're free. You don't need to pay for them. You don't need to pay for any fancy tools. Very high token limit. It's just as fast, etc. And additionally, I know a lot of people are waiting for ChatGPT Plus because of the popularity of tools like these, these custom GPTs that you can build that are basically your own tools, trained on your data, customize exactly how you want. And I'm going to show you how to create your own version of this if you don't have access to ChatGPT Plus. So one of my favorites is actually Claude, Claude AI. This is a really powerful AI that you can use. It's completely free. I don't pay for this at all, but basically we can use Claude in exactly the same way that you would use ChatGPT. For example, if we take some of the prompts from my 50 prompts guide right here. So for example, like content, you can say to Claude, like create some content, but using the same prompt that works with ChatGPT. And that's the beauty of all these prompts is that they're very transferable. If you want access to this, it's inside my free course, link in the comments. But basically, it will generate content for you that's nicely formatted. It's got bullet points, it's well written, etc. And does very similar outputs to ChatGPT4. All right, and that is completely free. Now, in some countries, Claude is not available. And because that's the case, let me show you another free alternative that you can use. So I don't pay for Claude at all, but it is a very good alternative to ChatGPT4. If you're stuck on the wait list, or you just wanna try something new and you don't wanna pay for ChatGPT+, Plus. maybe you want a better version of 3.5. Now, if you don't have access to Claude, maybe it's not available in your country, etc. what you can actually do is go onto po.com. Now, po.com basically gives you access to loads of different AIs, plus you can build your own assistance inside there. And I'll show you that in a second, but essentially, if we go to explore over here on po.com, P-O-E.com, as you can see, you've got access to all these different bots and AIs. So for example, there's the assistant here, you've got web search, which means that you can browse the web. I'll show you that in a second. You've got GPT-4, but the access is limited. So you only get a few posts per day, but you've even got access to DALI-3 now, which is good for generating images. You've got Claude there as well. So if you don't have access to Claude in your country, then you can actually use it directly via po.com. And there's some other cool stuff as well. For example, like Stable Diffusion. This is one of the best ways to create images. I would honestly say that DALI 3 is not as good as Stable Diffusion. So if you want a better version, a better alternative to ChatGPT+, then you can actually try using Stable Diffusion to generate images for you. Let's try and create a YouTube thumbnail right now. We've got to make it shorter. Let's go again and let's see what it comes up with. Now, what I can tell you is creating this image is way faster than actually using DALI 3. So it generates images almost instantly, which is pretty crazy. And yeah, pretty much every single AI that you can think of is directly inside po.com. And you can use this for free. I don't pay for this tool at all. In fact, there's some other crazy stuff like Solar, FW Mistral, et cetera. And I wanna show you web search as well. So web search, obviously with ChatGPT+, you get access to web search. If you're on the free version, as far as I know, you cannot access web search. So you need to upgrade and pay for it. So if you want a free alternative to that, you can use po.com and then you can just take a prompt like this, for example, let's say you're trying to create an article outline for your website. You can plug that into po.com, put in your keywords, and hopefully, you never know when you create these videos, but hopefully this works and it starts searching Google for the keywords. So you can see it's got links and references 
to all the relevant articles for this particular web search. So the keyword is Canberts Wiggle. It's created the outline like this, and it's got some external links as well. We can say to the web search, check Google and create an outline. And as you can see previously, it created a web search. So it's pretty crazy. It seems extremely fast, actually. That's surprising. But yeah, crazy that you can get access to that for free. And it automates doing all of the web research for you. Pretty powerful. Now, you might have seen that on ChatGPT+, Plus, which obviously has a wait list right now, you can create these different GPTs to do all sorts of things for you. So for example, I've created one for YouTube thumbnails, keyword research, content ideas, SEO link building, etc. But what you might not have realized is that you can actually create bots very similar inside po.com for free. So you can change the name, you can use a prompt. So for example, if you wanted to create a YouTube thumbnail, GPT just like this one, you can actually put the prompts inside right here inside this description, you can upload knowledge sources so that the bot will retrieve the uploads so that you actually train it on. So for example, if this was a link building GPT or an SEO GPT, then I could upload my link building book and it would retrieve that information when it's generating answers for the people using it. Additionally, you can set up the greeting messages just like you would on a custom GPT and you can just configure them there. So on GPT, it says conversation starters, on po.com, it'd be very similar, but you put it in the greeting message. And interestingly as well, you can actually change the temperature, right? So you can control the creativity of the bot's responses. On ChatGPT, as far as I'm aware, you can't do that. Maybe you can do it inside the conversation section, but as a free alternative, you can't really go wrong, right? And additionally, you can make your bots publicly accessible, just like you can with custom GPTs. So it's quite interesting and you can edit the picture, et cetera, as well. There's another option, which is the servers. I'm not very technical, but you can add like access keys, et cetera, and add people to your servers. So almost everything that you can do inside a custom GPT, you can create directly on po.com. And whether it's for images, whether it's for web searches, et cetera, you can basically find a decent alternative. It even has Claude 2 inside there and Claude Instant and Llama 2, et cetera. So you can flick between the AIs, you can share it publicly, et cetera. Now, additionally, if you go to the explore section over here, you can search for relevant bots, right? So for example, we can type in SEO right here. You can find relevant bots to what you're looking for inside the list. And these are all publicly created bots on po.com that you can share. Now, the interesting thing is that for custom GPTs, there's no public store yet, right? So there's no store that you can go through and check just like you can on po.com. So in some ways, if you're waiting for ChatGPT Plus to open up, you can just use po.com and it's nice and easy and simple to use. And you can search for whatever you want on there. Now you might say, okay, I don't mind paying for ChatGPT because I want more customization than po.com. I want to be able to give it more instructions, more detail, more comprehensive prompts, etc. So as an alternative to building your own custom GPTs, which are like tools you can just create, directly here, you can actually go onto OpenAI and you would use your API on the playground and you can find this at platform.openai.com forward slash playground and you can basically create your own bots inside here. If you want a free version with limited outputs but still access to different AI models, then you can use po.com and you just create a bot like that. If you want a paid version, a paid alternative to chat GPT custom GPTs whilst you're waiting, you can actually go onto playground and even if you have access to chat GPT plus, I think honestly, you will get more customized and better outputs directly from playground on chat GPT. So for example, you can see I've created a Twitter bot right there, and then I can create Twitter threads directly on here. And they're pretty useful. You might say, how do I know the outputs are good? I mean, for example, you can see like some of the tweets I've created with chat GPT have got like 8,900 different views. And this is from just 18 hours ago, right? So Playground is a really powerful way to create content as well. If you're looking for a more customizable version than ChatGPT. Now, the other reason I think that Playground and Assistance is almost a better alternative to custom GPTs is that you get more customization, but also shout out to Liam Otley. You can actually add custom GPTs directly to your website by creating one inside open AI playground like so. I'll link to his video inside my description if you want to check it out, but it looks really promising. So basically you can just create your own custom GPT inside the playground and it's not going to cost much because ChatGPT4's new API is 33% of the price. 
of the classic GPT-4 API. Basically, it's a lot cheaper, but also you can embed it on websites too. Additionally, if you want to create images for free, not only do you have Po.com as a useful alternative, and not only do you have OpenAI's Playground too, but you can use a free tool like Bing.com for generating images. And actually, I've found that sometimes you get better images on Bing.com versus using Dali 3 directly inside ChatGPT, right? Let me give you an example. So if I say create an image about ChatGPT4 is going to start creating the image. And you can see it's quite slow, right? It takes quite a long time to load. If I go on to Bing.com creator, like so, it does take a bit longer to generate the image, but it gives me four different options, right? So I get four different options for my image. Whereas if I go into ChatGPT, I only get one image. And let's be honest, which output is better? This one or this one? Personally, I would say these images created for free on Bing.com are actually a better alternative to ChatGPT and it doesn't cost you anything. You don't need to wait for ChatGPT Plus to open up. You don't need to wait for the wait list and you can generate more images and the free and the better outputs. So like I've seen a lot of the comments, if you're on the waiting list or you don't want to pay for ChatGPT, etc., there's loads of free alternatives and that's what I'm showing you in this video today. So just to recap, as free alternatives to ChatGPT Plus, You've got access to Claude. That is a free option that you can use. Additionally, you can use Po.com. Not only does that give you access to loads of different AI models, but also you can create your own bots that are kind of like custom GPTs anyway. And if you want to generate images, bing.com forward slash create is really good. And as a fourth alternative, of course, you can use platform.openai.com forward slash assistance, but this one is not free. Whereas Claude, Po.com and Image Creator are all free to use. Now, additionally, the final alternative that I'm going to cover is Bing.com, right? Sounds really obvious, but you do get access to their AI. So this is available in Bing and it's an AI powered copilot. And essentially this is powered by ChatGPT4, right? So if you don't have access to ChatGPT4+, Plus, if you don't want to pay for it, if you want a free alternative, then you can just use Microsoft Bing and you'll get access now. And the other cool thing here is, of course, that you get access directly inside. And additionally, you can actually choose a conversation style. So you can say creative or balanced or more precise. And you can even generate images inside Bing. So you can say, for example, generate an image about cats. And you can see the image is generating right there. So if you want some copyright free images, potentially you could use this tool as well. And then you've got four different options related to cats from image creator from designer. And this is powered by Dali 3 as well. So if you don't have access to ChatGPT+, Plus, if you're on the waiting list, if you want free images that are copyright free, then you can go directly to Bing.com AI Copilot and just generate images directly there. Additionally, you can say scrape the first page rankings for the keyword and you just put whatever keyword you want. And you can basically web search that way as well. So if you're stuck on ChatGPT 3.5 and you want to be able to search the web, then you can just get access to ChatGPT Plus via Bing.com for free. Scrape the web. It's going to search for the keyword, generate the answers, give you the content outline. You can tweak the prompt as much as you want to. So it's really crazy what you can do. That's five alternatives, four of them free, that you can actually use if you're stuck on the waiting list for ChatGPT Plus. And basically, you can create images, search the web, generate content, create your own tools on Po.com, and get access to loads of different AI models for free. So basically that's everything you need as a free alternative so that you're not stuck on the waiting list or if you wanna try different AI models, you can. So thanks so much for watching. If you wanna get access to my free ChatGPT SEO course, it basically teaches you how to rank and get more leads and traffic and sales from Google using SEO, then feel free to get that free course. Links in the comments. And if you do wanna book in a call about how to get more leads, traffic and sales from Google, feel free to book them. We have some Black Friday deals going on. You can save thousands of dollars if you sign up this week. So if you want us to personally build you a link building campaign that predictably and consistently delivers you more backlinks, traffic and sales to your website, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session and we can basically answer any questions you have, look at your competitors and give you an SEO domination plan. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.